Hello everyone, in this video we're going to continue with Ansible playbooks. More specifically, we're gonna um, harden an SSHD service using playbooks on a Linux box. Mm, I've decided to write these playbooks in Sublime Text because I think that it will be more readable for you, more visible. So uh, without further ado, let's get down to it. Um, the very first thing that we're going to do is then is to mark the beginning of our file with three dashes according to YAML guidelines. And the next thing is just specifying our host pattern. Nothing has changed in this respect. We're going to specify our node1.lab.com host. Next, we're going to specify become and set it to yes because um, we'll need elevated privileges to modify some of the, uh, actually modify one file. Uh, and to do that, we will need uh, elevated privileges. Down below here, we're gonna specify our tasks and let's name our task right away. Um, let's call it Harden SSHD and to do that, we're going to use the module called line and file. Line and file allows us to modify lines in a file, for example, to insert a line into a file or remove a line from a file based on a certain regular expression, based on a certain pattern that we want to look for. And it takes few parameters. We're going to specify um, the very first one that we're going to be specifying is path. So the path to the file that we'll be modifying, we'll be playing with today. The second parameter is um, regex expression. So basically, regex expression, uh, let me, regex expression. Uh, we're going to be specifying a variable here because uh, since we're going to be using, we're, since we're going to be modifying a couple of uh, lines, will employ a loop and to be more effective more effective with that uh, we'll be creating a variable that will refer to a list of items in our loop so to do that we're going to call it item regex expression and later on this variable will refer to our list of hashes down below here we're going to specify a line and line is um, a line that we want to insert into uh, our file instead of this found uh, pattern. All right, so uh, like above, we're gonna set a variable, we're gonna call it item with that notation, and we're gonna set it to line. And then the last one is state. We don't have to explicitly set this to present, but I just wanted to show you that if we set it to absent, uh, we would remove uh, the lines from uh, from uh, from the file. So let me set it to present for the time being, and now we're gonna create a loop using the keyword loop. Loops allow us to repeat a certain task multiple times and to create a loop in Ansible it's just as simple as that you specify loop keyword and down below we specify a list of items that you want to iterate over and the very first thing that we're going to be specifying is regex expression and thanks to this variable we're going to be referring to a, to a list of uh, items down below so we're gonna put this inside double quotes and we want to look for a line that starts with permit root login. And this symbol here, this current symbol here, tells us that a line needs to start with this sentence. So down below here, we're gonna replace it with permit root login, but we're gonna set it to without password. We will not completely disable uh, root login because mm, I'm managing this node one machine using root 
uh, instead of that, we'll only allow uh, SSH keys authentication. So we'll be able to log into our machine, but you know, using SSH keys. Generally, it's not a good practice, you know, to allow uh, to permit root login. It's better, you know, to have regular users uh, and escalate to SU or sudo to ensure that you have the proper audit trail in case of a security incidence, in case of a breach. So let me specify another item in our list and what we want to disable is password authentication. So again, we, we want to look for a line that starts with password authentication in this file. So that's what it does. And we want to replace it with password authentication no. It's a good security practice to disable passwords uh, on our boxes, Linux machines. The next one is X11 forwarding. And we're gonna set it to no. Let me uh, define a couple more. And this is this is gonna be um, permit allow empty passwords, if I'm not mistaken, but I will need to check this in a second. Passwords. And again, we want to look for lines that start with this text. So we need to add current symbol and uh, we're gonna empty passwords. We're gonna set it to no, but just give me a second. I'm gonna go to terminal here and I'm gonna go to this SSHD configuration file because I'm not sure if this is the name. Permit empty passwords. This is permit empty passwords. And what did I write? Allow empty passwords. There we go. So it's not correct. Permit. And we're going to change this to permit as well. Permit empty passwords. So we have X11 forwarding, password authentication, and permit root login. And here we're going to add to our name service. All right, so our loop is ready. What we need to do next is specify a handler. Handlers are tasks that are, that, are, that are only run when we explicitly tell them to be run. So we're gonna use the keyword notify and we're gonna set this handler to restart SSHD. So if our handlers hears that we want to restart SSHD, that any of these changes have been made, the service will be actually we want to reload. The service will be reloaded. And to specify a handlers, we need to put this at the same indentation level as host and become. Down below, we specify the name for our handler, and this has to match this text here. Otherwise, it will it would not run. So we're gonna specify it. We're gonna set this to reload SSHD. And here we're gonna specify this the module that we, we will be using here. Since we want to reload the service, we will be using service module. And as always, we need to specify the name of the service. So this is SSHD, and we want it to be reloaded if any of these changes have been made. So before we go to our Linux box, Linux controller, Ansible controller, let me show you what it would look like if we didn't use the loop. If we didn't use the loop, we would have to repeat this module a couple of times all over again. So it's just not effective. It's better to use a loop. You know, if we have a list of items and we want to iterate it over, we, if we and if we want to iterate over this uh, list of items. Use the, loop, use the loop keyword. All right, so what we're gonna do now is save this file. Uh, 
save this file onto my desktop. Oh, it's already there. I'm going to rewrite this. And we're going to exit out of this. I'm going to go to my Mac desktop and we're going to secure copy this playbook uh, onto our uh, Ansible controller, but obviously I forgot the IP address. I'm going to copy that because I'm lazy. All right. And we're going to, we want to copy this onto Ansible controller and we want to put this in Ansible playbooks directory. And it should be final. Let me go now. Let me clear the screen here. And where are we actually? Let's go to playbooks and see if our playbooks, if our playbook is there. Voila. Let's take a look quickly. All right. So let me go up in the directory and let's run this playbook. Um, playbooks harden secure SSH. All right. It should make these changes and if any of them has been made it should restart reload the SSHD service there we go that's what that was quick and we're gonna now we're gonna take a look at SSHD config, configuration file and as you can see this permit root login option has been changed to without password. And if we go to the end of the file, we see that password authentication has been set to no. So if you have a if you have a lot of machines that you need to harden, or if you need to change some configuration files, whatever, Ansible is the right choice for this. So that would be it. Thanks you. Thank you for watching and. As always, if you have any doubts, questions, put them into the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. For the time being, thank you and take care. Bye bye.